All right, so I've got a question here from a viewer. I've gotten this question quite a bit over the past couple months, so I figured that i just dedicate an entire video to it. They ask, does minimalism have an effect on your workout routine? Because your biceps aren't very minimalist. Okay, I added the last part. That wasn't, nobody, I, I just, I added that in there. All right, so the answer to this question, has minimalism had an impact on my workout routine? It's kind of hard to say, either directly or indirectly it has. I have noticed that over the years, my uh, since I've started working out in college, my workouts have gotten much simpler and they have become more focused. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how that has happened and also some of the things that I've learned while going to the gym for the past many years. So when you first go to the gym, it can be kind of intimidating. It can be a little bit scary. You can feel a little bit pressured. It's like you're 18 years old and you've never felt the touch of a woman before. That's a weird metaphor. It's like you're 21 years old and you're getting your wisdom teeth taken out. That doesn't make any sense. It's like you're 34 years old and you're going fishing for the very first time. I'm not gonna use a metaphor. So you go to the gym, you're nervous, you're intimidated, you don't wanna look stupid, and you also don't wanna appear weak. So what's the first thing you do? You reach for the heaviest weight that you could possibly lift. You, you lift it and you're trying your best, you're swinging your back, and you're just doing a little bit too much. When you try to push yourself too quickly, the best case scenario is that you're just gonna look like an idiot swinging your back and trying to lift up this ridiculously heavy weight. But at the worst case scenario, you could actually get hurt. So my suggestion is to have a little bit of humility, take things slow, start with those five pound, 10 pound weights and work your way up over a period of time. Don't try to do everything in one gym session. Before you even head to the gym, you should be thinking about your goals and why you're actually going. Are you training for a marathon? Are you trying to make your biceps look not so minimalist? Are you training for a Tough mutter? Each of these scenarios may need different training and whether you're trying to build muscle mass or strength, the workout routine is gonna be drastically different for each. Work out with intention. Figure out where you wanna head and then devise a plan either with the aid of the internet or a personal trainer to help get you there. <laughs> All right, so I found this stock footage clip while starting to work on this video of a guy doing a bicep curl in the middle of the forest with a tree and I couldn't not use it. So I'm just gonna have this be a, like a transition <laughs> clip, I guess. So my workout routine lately has gotten quite simple. So you have six major muscle groups in your body and what I do is I work out one muscle group on each day. So my weeks generally look like this. Monday, biceps. Tuesday, biceps. Wednesday, biceps. Okay, I'm just kidding. That's not, I don't do biceps every day. This is what my workout routine looks like. Monday, biceps. Tuesday, chest. Wednesday, back. Thursday, triceps. Friday, shoulders. Saturday, legs. Sunday, rest. So what I do is usually two to three workouts per muscle group. The exercises will include anything from squats to deadlifts to bicep curls, of course, bench press. And I mix it up a little bit. I do things a little bit differently as the months go by. But generally I use all free weights when I'm working out. Now keeping my workout routine simple like this allows me to get my workout in in about 30 minutes per day. I've found that it's much more important what you do every single day as opposed to what you do every once in a while. So I would much rather keep up a consistent 30 minute workout every single day than a three and a half hour or three, three hour workout on the weekend. Now a lot of people make fun of CrossFit. That's, <laughs> I don't have anything else to add to that. I just wanted to say that sentence. As you progress and as you get stronger, you're gonna be able to lift more and more weights and you have to just remind yourself to continue to take it slow and steady and look for that long-term approach versus trying to lift the heaviest weight you possibly could today. 
Um, take your reps slow, take your sets slow, and push yourself to failure. But don't push yourself to the point where you get injured. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week. Hey, I don't know if you guys know this, but I started a vlog. It's called The Secret Vlog. It gives you an intimate look at my work life and my personal life. I'm not perfect. This banana bread is perfect. And it's for Patreon subscribers only. This is one of the ways that viewers are helping to keep this channel advertisement and sponsor free. You can check it out at patreon.com slash Matt